Welcome to the world of The Girl Can't Help It, a 1956 film that seamlessly blends music, comedy, and a dash of romance. Directed by Frank Tashlin, the cinematic gem revolves around Jane Mansfield's character, Jerry Jordan, as she unwittingly becomes the focal point of the music industry's quest for the next big star. The film is not merely a product of its time, but a vibrant snapshot of the burgeoning rock and roll era. As you reflect on this classic, one might wonder, is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Or, perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor stole the show for you? Before we delve into the details, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Girl Can't Help It? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. But first, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Did you know that the film features iconic performances from legendary musicians like Little Richard, Fats Domino, and Eddie Cochran? Their musical contributions undoubtedly add to the film's allure, making it a true time capsule of the rock and roll revolution. Now, back to your reflections. Whether it's a humorous exchange, a musical crescendo, or the undeniable charisma of the cast, the girl can't help it has left an indelible mark on many. Share your thoughts and join the conversation. What classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? Is there a specific moment that resonated with you? Your insights enrich the tapestry of this cinematic journey. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let the conversation begin. The Girl Can't Help It, a 1956 musical comedy film directed by Frank Tashlin, revolves around Tom Miller, a down-and-out talent agent tasked with turning the mobster's girlfriend, Jerry Jordan, into a singing sensation. Starring Jane Mansfield as Jerry, the film unfolds in a riot of color, showcasing a parade of musical performances by rock and roll legends like Little Richard, Fats Domino, and Eddie Cochran. The film's distinctive blend of rock music and comedic storytelling marked it as a pioneer in the rock and roll film genre. Mansfield's bombshell persona and the film's vibrant visuals contributed to its lasting cultural impact. The characters, from the ambitious Tom to the enchanting Jerry, brought a dynamic energy to the screen, while the musical cameos injected the burgeoning rock and roll scene into mainstream cinema. The Girl Can't Help It remains an influential piece of entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture and inspiring future generations of filmmakers and musicians to fuse music and cinema seamlessly. Its legacy endures as a timeless celebration of the rock and roll era. Teddy Rendazzo, the talent behind Cinnamon Sinner in the 1956 film The Girl Can't Help It, went on to compose two major hits, Going Out of My Head and Hurt So Bad, almost a decade later for Little Anthony and the Imperials. This showcases the film's impact, not just as a cinematic piece, but as a catalyst for significant contributions to the music industry. Randazzo's journey from the movie's musical landscape to composing chart-topping songs highlights the enduring influence of The Girl Can't Help It. The film's reach extended beyond its release, shaping the trajectory of artists and influencing the creation of iconic tracks in the years that followed. This connection between the film and later musical successes adds a fascinating layer to its cultural legacy. The echoes of The Girl Can't Help It reverberate through time, connecting the dots between the rock and roll era and subsequent musical milestones, leaving an indelible mark on the evolving soundscape of the industry. The film's impact on musicians, from those directly involved in its making to later icons like Paul McCartney and John Lennon, cements its status as a cornerstone in the history of music on screen. Production on The Girl Can't Help It kicked off in mid-September 1956, coinciding with Jane Mansfield's Broadway success and will success Spoil Rock Hunter. The film, strategically timed for a Christmas 1956 release, emerged as a vibrant showcase of rock and roll legends. Notably, Abby Lincoln dons a gown previously worn by Marilyn Monroe in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, adding a subtle touch of Hollywood history to the musical extravaganza. Mansfield, who later wore a wedding dress from the film for her real-life marriage to Mickey Hargitay in 1958, seamlessly blended real and real life. This behind-the-scenes trivia enriches the movie's narrative, intertwining the glamour of cinema with the personal lives of its stars. The Girl Can't Help It not only captured the spirit of the rock and roll era, but also etched itself into the broader tapestry of Hollywood's golden age, where costumes, romance, and cultural impact converged. 
Paul McCartney once revealed an interesting tidbit about the 1956 movie The Girl Can't Help It. He mentioned that he and John Lennon, both underage at the time of the film's release, snuck into the theater by donning fake mustaches to appear older. This amusing anecdote sheds light on the movie's impact on the legendary musicians and its role as one of their early musical influences. Beyond the escapades of sneaky teenage fans, The Girl Can't Help It holds a notable place in film history. Directed by Frank Tashlin, it features Jane Mansfield and Tom Ewell driving to the beach in a pink 1957 Lincoln Premier convertible. Interestingly, this car would later become Mansfield's personal vehicle and feature prominently in iconic photographs throughout her career. Tashlin, known for his comedic prowess, directed The Girl Can't Help It as the first of two comedies starring Mansfield, the other being Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter. Tashlin's unique style and affinity for humor evident in his statement about finding nothing funnier than big breasts set the tone for the film's blend of comedy and rock and roll. As we explore the film's connections to real-life events and the influence it had on budding musicians like McCartney and Lennon, The Girl Can't Help It emerges as more than just a 1956 movie. It becomes a cultural touchstone, linking the glamour of Hollywood with the rebellious spirit of the rock and roll era. In the end, The Girl Can't Help It transcends its initial release, leaving a lasting imprint on popular culture and inspiring generations of artists. From pink convertibles to fake mustaches, this film weaves a captivating narrative that extends beyond the silver screen. The Girl Can't Help It, a 1956 rock and roll film directed by Frank Tashlin, holds a significant place in music history. Its impact extends beyond the silver screen, influencing iconic musicians like Paul McCartney and John Lennon. Interestingly, guitar legends Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck, both part of the Yardbirds, consider this movie a monumental influence on their careers. Beck even describes it as the best rock and roll movie ever filmed. However, some sources inaccurately claim the presence of Bill Haley and the comets in the film thighs is not true. The movie, with an average shot length of 10 seconds, set the stage for a new era in cinema, seamlessly blending comedy and rock and roll. Despite the misconception about Bill Haley, the film's influence on musicians is undeniable. Its impact resonates in the careers of renowned artists, shaping the sound of the British invasion and laying the foundation for bands like Led Zeppelin. The Girl Can't Help It, a cultural touchstone, remains a key player in the intersection of Hollywood glamour and the rebellious spirit of the rock and roll era. As we bid adieu to the celluloid wonder that is The Girl Can't Help It, let the echoes of Little Richard's wild tunes and Jane Mansfield's dazzling presence linger in the corridors of your cinematic memory. Like a vintage vinyl record, this film has etched itself into the groove of pop culture, inviting us to a bygone era of rock and roll rebellion and silver screen allure. As you contemplate the neon-lit streets and the neon-lit hearts portrayed in this celluloid gem, take a moment to traverse the reel of your own life. What resonates with you in this tale of a music manager's attempt to transform a gangster's mall into a singing sensation? Is it the pulsating rhythm of the soundtrack or the visual symphony of technicolor brilliance that has left an indelible mark on your soul? We're not just spectators in this cinematic journey, we are co-conspirators, entangled in the rhythm of our own stories. The Girl Can't Help It invites you to unravel your memories and reflections, encouraging you to share the snippets of your personal connection with this timeless classic. Did you dance to its tunes in your youth, or did its rebellious spirit spark a flame of inspiration within you? Let your thoughts reverberate through the digital expanse. Share your favorite moments, the scenes that made your heart skip a beat, or the lines that still resonate with you. In this shared celebration of cinematic brilliance, we weave a collective tapestry of nostalgia, each thread connecting us to the enduring magic of the girl can't help it. Thank you for embarking on this celluloid adventure with us, for allowing the black and white memories of the past to splash into vibrant technicolor. Your reflections make this journey richer, more nuanced, and uniquely yours. Until we meet again in the kaleidoscopic world of cinema, thank you for sharing your thoughts and memories.